हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन नाउ वी हैड सब डिवाइडेड द इंटरसेक्शन इनटू टू पार्ट्स फर्स्ट वन इज ग्रेड सेपरेटेड इंटरसेक्शन एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज एट ग्रेड इंटरसेक्शन नाउ द वेरियस एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ग्रेड सेपरेटेड इंटरसेक्शंस आर पार्शियल क्लोवर लीफ फुल क्लोवर लीफ डायमंड इंटरचेंज एक्सेट्रा and at grid intersection example is signalized intersection and rotary now the first one is grid separated intersection intersection in which two road meet at different elevation is known as grid separated intersection now in this road there will be one road which is above the other road that is like this now if we have to travel from this road to the bottom road then we have to use the ramp that is the direct ramp now if we have to merge from this traffic to this traffic that is at the bottom road then we have to use the loop ramp just like this now the various types of grid separated intersections are the first one is partial clover leaf in which clover leaf is provided partially that is just like this now the next is the full clover leaf in which the clover leaf is provided fully like this now if some vehicle is trying to move from this road to this road then it will use this ramp now if some vehicle is trying to move from this road to this road he will use this leaf similarly now if some vehicle is trying to move from this road to the bottom road then he will use this leaf and so on now the next is the at grade intersection or level crossing when two roads meet at same level then that intersection is known as at grade intersection now there will be conflict points now we will see each type of conflict point starting with the merging conflict now suppose that if one vehicle is trying to move from this road so that he can merge on this road so there will be one conflict point arises here similarly if some vehicle will try to merge from this direction to this direction then there will be one conflict point and this conflict point is known as merging conflict now the next one is the diverging conflict if some vehicle is trying to diverge from this route to this route then there will be one diverging conflict point that arises here now if some vehicle is trying to move from this to this direction then there will be one diverging conflict point arises here now the next is the crossing conflict now if two vehicles are trying to cross each other like this then there will be one crossing conflict point arises here similarly one crossing point arises here also now the next is the weaving conflict now weaving conflict will takes place when some vehicle will tries to merge from this direction and diverge from this direction then there will be one weaving conflict point arises here similarly one weaving conflict point arises here also now one note is written here that crossing and weaving conflicts are known as major conflict point merging and diverging conflicts are known as minor conflict points okay this question is very important from the gate point of view because in 2019 gate had asked the question from this topic now we will see the various types of conflict point arises in two lane two way road now this vehicle will move just like this and it will take the path just like this or it will take the path just like this so there will be one merging conflict as well as there will be one merging conflicts also there that is at this point now similarly if this vehicle is trying to change its path from this direction to this direction or from this direction to this direction then there will be one merging conflicts or there will be one merging conflict similarly there will be also one merging conflict as well as there will be one merging conflict similarly there will be one merging conflicts and there will be one merging conflict so total merging conflict will be equals to 8 here now crossing conflict will be just like this that is the crossing conflict as well as this is also crossing conflict this is also crossing conflict and this is also crossing conflicts so crossing conflict will be equals to 4 and weaving conflict will be shown here by the yellow color these all are the weaving conflicts so it will be equals to 12 so on adding these three conflicts the total conflict will be equals to 24 so for two lane two way road the total conflict point will be equals to 24 now for two lane one way road the crossing conflict will be equals to 4 which is shown here that is this and merging conflict will be equals to 2 which is shown by green dots so the total conflict will be equals to 6 in two lane one way road now we have the conflict points of different types of road 
in the first column we had written number of lane for road A and for road B. If road A has two lane as well as road B also has two lane. Now if road A is two way road and if road B is two way road then there will be 24 conflict points. Similarly if road A is two way and road B is one way then there will be only 11 conflict points. Now if road A is one way and road B is one way then there will be only 6 conflict points. Now these conflict points are very important from the gate point of view because gate had asked several times these conflict points. So we will encircle these conflict points. Okay. Now in the similar way we can determine the conflict point for all the other cases also. Now the next topic is the road tree. The road tree intersection of road is also called as traffic road tree which is nothing but enlarged intersection of road where vehicle cross the roads or change their direction without stopping. IRC suggested to design the road tree for maximum traffic volume of 3000 vehicle. Now this is very important. This condition is very important that is the maximum traffic volume suggested for the design of road tree is 3000 vehicle per hour and the minimum number of vehicle is 500 vehicle per hour. This is very important from the government exam point of view entering from all the legs. Now here a road tree is shown just like this and here is different roads just like this. That is the different roads connecting at the road tree. Now this is the radius of the island. This is the radius at entry and it is the radius at exit. Similarly these are the islands which are provided just to reduce the chances of accidents. Now we have the various types of road tree. The first one is circular road tree which is shown here in which one path will be just like this, one path will be just like this, another path will be just like this and another path will be just like this and here is the central island. Similarly, the elliptical rotary will be just like this, the tangential rotary will be just like this and the turbine rotary will be just like this. Now, note is written here that circular shaped rotary is preferred when traffic in both the cross roads are equal. Similarly, elliptical shape is generally preferred when traffic in one road is significant as compared to the traffic in another cross road. And tangential and turbine shape road tree is not preferred because of chances of over speeding due to long route weaving section. Now the general guideline for design of road tree as per Indian Road Congress. Design speed for road tree will be equals to 30 km per hour for urban area and 40 km per hour for rural area. Now radius at entry, exit and central island. Entry to a road tree is not straight. A small curvature is also introduced to forcefully reduce speed of vehicle. Super elevation in the road tree is equals to camber of road but for calculation of radius at entry, super elevation is assumed at zero. So, radius at entry will be equals to V square upon 127F and radius at exit will be equals to 1.52 times of radius at entry as well as radius of island will be equals to 4 by 3 of radius at entry. Now, width at entry and exit. Even is the width at entry and E2 is the width at exit. Entry width and exit width of road tree is governed by traffic entering and leaving the intersection and width of approaching road. Now if data is not given then we have to take the width at exit will be equals to width at entry. Now we have the width of approach that is the road width that is the road width and we have the width at entry that is even. Now for 7 meter width of approach even will be equals to 6.5 similarly for 10.5 even will be equals to 7 meter for 14 meter approach even will be equals to 8 meter and for 21 meter approach even will be equals to 13 meter. Now length of weaving section will not be less than 4 times of width of weaving section. Now W will be equals to E1 plus E2 by 2 plus 3.5. Now the next is the capacity of road tree it will be equals to 280 into W 1 plus E by W 1 minus P by 3 upon 1 plus w by l where w is the width of weaving section l is the length of weaving section which should not be less than 4 times of width of weaving section e will be equals to e1 plus e2 by 2 and p is the weaving ratio generalized in between 0.4 to 1 that is all about the type of intersection thank you very much students